Hello, hello everyone. It is a fabulously rainy Monday here in Morristown. Um, I've got Rachel here as my cohort on the uh, mechanics of all this. <laughs> Becca actually just walked out the door to go on an appointment with her son. Yes. She informed me uh, this weekend while we were camping and the glorious weather was it not beautiful oh, here? Stunning. I mean, like seventies. We oh. went camping for the, our first camp trip of the of the season. Yes. And uh, she informed me while we're sitting there, I won't be there for your first official live by yourself. <laughs> and I was like, guys, Anna was mad that she was going to be here alone with me. Why, <laughs> why do you think she would be upset about that? I am a delight. I said, why <laughs> of all people does it have to be Rachel for my first swim? I think what it is is that Becca has been a part of every monumental thing of my life. Oh, yes. And then she just walked right out Listen, the door on she's me. She's here in spirit. Yeah. Mom, mom mode called, you know. Yeah, yeah. She had to go. <laughs> she had to go. Those of you that don't know, I am Anna Lamb. I am an additional owner and craft educator here at Maker's Gun. Oh my wow. lord. Sorry about never that. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get that you out of the like way. The never worked one. there at Oak and Lamb. <laughs> Oops. Words you are hard. Still say that, but at least we worked there. I know. Anna. I, I mean, like, I, I just guessed on there like, what, three times maybe? <laughs> that was... Uh, Showing her talent. And now she owns part of her own company. And I get the name wrong. her talent. And she's not even proud enough to say the name right. It's okay, Anna. We'll I work know, on and that. it's my name. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Anyway, you all are going nuts over Cricket's new um, releases or the information release on their heat press and that kind of stuff. And we are as appalled about the price of that uh, big Ooh. press as you are. Oh, that was rough. Um, what are we saying? It was a thousand dollars. Uh, I've never gotten a price. I cannot find it online, but the price that everyone else is saying is $9.99, which is kind of crazy. But again, we have done a lot of judging books by their covers in the Cricut uh, product world. So we're going to, we're, we're probably going to get these products and see how they do. And we're sitting um, there saying, there's no way it's a thousand bucks. Like, we're going to have to have it though. We're gonna, <laughs> listen, that's a lot of money. So they have a hat press, uh, the auto press, which is the fancy new heat press that they're coming out with. And then an easy press three, which if I'm understanding correctly, is basically just the two, but with an app. So, you know, but again, we'll probably purchase, end up purchasing all of these and you guys can um, come to Oak and Lamb for all of your unbiased opinions because we're not paid by anybody, thankfully, um, <laughs> to, to give our opinion. So we can give our free opinion on what we like and don't like about any brand out there, Cricket included. Uh, but I mean, it was shocking to me, the products. I was, I don't know. It's like, do, do we need a hat press? Is that something we need? Cause the easy press seems to be doing fine. How often do someone make hats? I, I have questions, but I don't, I don't know. What do you all think? Let us know. I, I also think that it would be interesting to get one of the hat presses yes. and figure out what additional things we can do with it. True. Good, good, Anna. Yeah. Um, because unless you're in a hat business now, and I think they made that price point to where like people would take the plunge on it. Yeah. It's like too. 150 bucks, something like that. Yeah. The easy press three is like 249. Cat um, says smile and talk positive and they may send you one to try out. <laughs> We could only hope, Kat. Yeah, for a thousand dollars, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of money. You have to try it and give us your honest opinion. Well, we so have... So we are duped, Stacy. yeah. Yeah. We're, we're gonna try. I mean, cause again, it, listen, everybody's gotta pay the bills, but some people aren't allowed to give their honest opinion on things. No, we're not bashing them. Everybody has to pay their bills. Everybody has to do what they need to do. Uh, a lot of people might genuinely love it, but here you'll just know that we're not swayed either way. We, it, trust me, if we're spending a thousand dollars on it, we're we're gonna give our honest opinion on Honesty it. Honesty flows from these mouths. Yes, it does. <laughs> For a thousand dollars, it sure does. And we might fall in love with it. We might use it every single day. I kind of hope we do. I do. I hope we love this. I've never used a large one though. Anna, it's a pro. Well, you know, I burnt the sh crap out of. Excuse me. Uh. I burnt the crap out of my hand. Speaking of that <laughs> word. I have to have to tell you all something. My, oh no! This is hilarious. Oh my! Paint the picture. Am I, I'm gonna bleep it. The, am I just gonna I can't say bleep it? Bleep it. We're live. No, I mean like, should I just like say it or go with it? Don't say it. Okay, I'm just gonna 
you're gonna get the hint. You're gonna get the hint. So, Becca's sweet little Fally. <laughs> I love her so so good. I love her. We're camping this weekend, and um, we had to wait for about 30 minutes to eat one one evening. So it was beautiful out. So we're sitting on the grass, just waiting for our turn. And when I go to stand up to go in, um, I said, "Mark, do I have shh on on my butt?" Mm -hmm. And like, do I have grass on, on my butt? And, and Fallon said, no, you don't have sh on your butt. But they but said the word. She said the word. So I was like, turn, don't say anything. Don't say anything. I'm gonna let your mom take care don't, of it. I was like, maybe anything. if I don't draw attention to the fact she just won't remember it, but. Yeah, yeah. So Becca said that Rachel cannot let Charlie spend any one-on-one -on -one time with his aunt Anna. Yeah, oh. Uh, because I'm a bad influence. She'll corrupt him too quickly. Gosh. Too quickly. Uh, well, Becca just never has done it. And Fallon picks up on everything, she guys. She does. In case you haven't haven't noticed. Let's see. What what is everyone? Everyone and love. Just, oh, yeah. I'm so glad to be here, Shay. I love yeah. it. There's so many amazing people here did today. Did you straighten Becca's bucket? No, I did not, but I'm happy to say I didn't run over it either. That's so true. That's true. We're, we're, yes. we're, we're doing good yes. on that. How did you like Anna's thumbnail? Because Anna, what are we making today? We are making a, um, we're going to call it a door tag. Yeah. It's a wooden door tag. Um, and I'll just go a little along with that thumbnail. Uh, Becca pre makes the thumbnails and says, what do you want to use? So I send her pictures of vinyl and all that kind of stuff. And, um, I thought that I had that vinyl. And then when I went to get it, like it had, I had cut something and I was like, oh gosh, I can't find anymore. So I went to Hobby Lobby to try to find more. And of course it's like discontinued. So I got something else. Well, when I get home to like prep my project yesterday, um, my dad was out of town and I used his table saw for like larger cuts. And so we had the next door neighbor, um, Mark went over to have him help us and they were like half an inch off in spots. So I called oh. my dad, I was like, dad, can you please help me? <laughs> so we go over, he cuts dad it. to the rescue. Yes, I go back to start prepping my project. I pull the sheets out and these pieces of wood are like eight by 14. And when I pull my vinyl out, they're 12 inch squares. Oh. So I was like, when am I gonna catch a break here, people? Yeah. yeah. So I'm like digging through all my vinyl and out pops this big roll of the original vinyl that I wanted to use. And I was like, praise Jesus. Yes. And Becca, I said, Becca, I'm not going to make a liar out of you. And she said, well, did you find the yellow polka dot ribbon too? And I actually found some of that in my stash too. So it's like the stars aligned for this yes, project. And if finally. you guys want any links, I will be linking everything after the live stream. Uh, so I'm going to get a list from Anna and then link all that for you uh, right after. So you'll have all the links and stuff soon. Yes. Very soon. Yes. yes. Uh, do we want to go ahead and jump into that or we want to? Absolutely. Yes. I, I just want to give a PSA as yes. well. It is storming here. Mm -hmm. If for any reason we black out and you just don't see us and we're gone, don't panic. It's probably just a little power outage. Uh, but there is a possibility of that with storms like this. So just, just PSA. PSA. Yeah. Ann Williams said, hi from Oklahoma. Glad I found you again. Oh, my goodness. We're glad you found us. Hi, Ann. We're so glad you're here. Love Dad to the rescue. I, I'm yes. telling you. I, I did. I said, Dad, you're my savior. Yes. He's probably wishing he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to get started, we did go ahead and cut these. Um, our miter saw will only cut, I think it's like, 10 inches on the slide so these are 14 inches and we went ahead and just ripped those on um the table saw so that i wasn't having to flip and do things you're not supposed to do but these are eight um eight inches across by 14 inches long um and we went ahead and stained both sides and all the uh, edges so that it was good and dry for your vinyl to adhere to um mark lammy helped me out with that and he's that he was going to watch, but that he wasn't going to comment today. Mark, well, I, you have to comment. I said, this why is would your you lovely not wife's debut, right? Mark, he should be honored. You no. should be honored. Your love smoke show of a wife is live I, today. I mean, come on, Mark. Come on. Yes, you get to come home to this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I do not mean that. Anyway. 
So you're gonna need two of them because the tag there are two and they're uh, layered. So what we are going to do is go ahead and make um, our miter saw cuts um, to actually taper it into what looks like the tag. Um, and Becca has made us a couple of cut files for this. Thanks, Becca. Um, and so what I did yesterday in the prep is print off the size that we need, put it on the board, and then figured out what the angles were. And they're like 43 degree angles. I was like, why couldn't you have just made it 45? And she said, it wouldn't have been perfect that way. Or what, what did she say something about? You're welcome for that perfect file yeah, or yes yes well you're welcome because it looks perfect or something yeah like that. something, something very becca super arrogant yes. like that <laughs> um so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the miter saw real fast it's right under here and melissa says i'm so excited i bought some pattern vinyl and have had no idea what to do with it well and you know what on that note i'm gonna talk just a little bit about that before we head into this so pattern vinyl whew, it's it's rough to figure out mm. like what to do with yeah. and overall we have found the larger the pro project and the more frequently your pattern is able to repeat the better it looks obviously yeah. so anything large is great with pattern vinyl um if you are doing wording there's a little hack where you can layer it and do like a white or a black or a solid behind it um, it kind of helps it be a little more readable that way because your eye's not drawn. It's, it's like it's more bold, more bold that way. Yeah. Um, if you are pairing vinyl or like vinyls together, a multi-vinyl project, if you want to use a pattern, I would suggest pairing it with solids. Now, Becca, be, Lord Lover, you know she likes lots of pattern and lots of color and that kind of stuff. So she would probably disagree with me, but I feel like if there's too many patterns going on, it's really confusing. What, yeah, it just looks say busy. That? It yes. just looks busy. And I think that there's a, there's a very fine line on too many patterns, just enough patterns. And a, a lot of people can go overboard and not realize you're overboard until the project's done. And then you're like, oh, I can't even read this. And you know, so it's a little bit of a dance you have to do. And Anna does an exceptional job today, you'll see, of using pattern vinyl in a way that's very tasteful and someone said i've never seen pattern vinyl before oh. and it, it's just like regular vinyl except pattern on the top so it's adhesive you can buy pattern htv as well but this pattern vinyl is just like a florally pattern you can buy um buffalo plaid things that look like different textures you know uh, the sky's the limit pretty much for that um, Mark is also here on his lunch break to let you know. Oh, hey, he Marky. He did comment. You get to come home tonight now. When we backed the um, camper in yesterday, he had me roll the awning out just a little bit. And uh, I said, he said, oh, this is really kind of nice because it butts up next to the house oh, yeah, when we yeah, do yeah. that. And I said, so the next time you need to come out here and sleep, you've got a great spot. Yeah, he's got a great, you just slip right in. Perfect. Bless his heart. Um, another thing with the pattern final, when I was looking through different ones, I found that there are some that are like more of an ombre, so it's real gradual pattern um, or like a tie dye or something like that. Things that have a smaller pattern in there, you don't have to be as careful about. Um, like if you're gonna do a monogram or wording, um, typically with your monogram and wording, the larger the, the font, the more Thicker, of the, the repetition bolder. you're, yes, yes. you're gonna yeah. get in that. Um, but they do have some that are not as busy and you really don't have to be quite as, as cautious about what you're using those on. This vinyl that we're using today is uh, large flowers, but there's a lot of things going on in it. So, I mean, you could get a lot of the color in there. I don't necessarily know that if it, if it was a real small script that you would realize that it was a flower. I also don't know if that matters, it depends on what you're working on, but um, it's always in rainy and stormy on my birthday. <laughs> this really sucks. Yes, it is Terry's birthday. So Terry, happy birthday. Mom says Mark is a good sport. Uh, Mom, you love Mark. You're a Mark lover. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug our miter saw in. And once again, we 100% encourage you to craft how you most feel comfortable and safest. If you want safety goggles, throw those on. 
Um, if you want to be outside, if, if you, you want outside. to, yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, so 100% encourage that. Always keep your fingers out of the way if you're pushing the blade, all that jazz. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah. This I will locked. also turn, I'll give you a warning and say, go ahead and turn your Volume. sound down. And I will also turn Anna's mic down. But if you've got earbuds in or anything like that, this could be a hair loud for you. But I'll crank Anna down while she's sawing yes. away. <laughs> um, so with this being a 43 degree cut, I, I could go back and forth with my blade um, to go from the like the right side and the left side. But I went ahead and marked on on both right sides so that I can use that same angle and I don't actually have to move. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move this to 43. I can get that. And I'm so, I do apologize. We do not have a great angle for this sucker. So, yeah. It's going <laughs> to be okay. Especially live. This is what you're okay. going to be able to see live. Because Anna has to be able to have it a safe, in a safe spot for her. And be able to see. And be able to see. The yeah. one thing, and I will endorse this Ryobi a little bit, if you are probably like building houses or something, you may not want something like this. For crafting, it's a great price point. Can you link that for anyone that's wanting one too? Oh, Do we have yeah, one for that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it does have some fantastic fi safety features. Like you have to push down on a lock before you can actually push. It's like it has to be simultaneous. Yeah. So it's not like you can accidentally grab. It's not too and heavy. Get it. it's, it's not. Really, it's it's honestly not too big to store either, in the sense of how big table saws could be or uh, circular saws could be. It's a really good saw, and Anna has one. I do, I, I personally she, have one of these at She home. brought one here, and we were like, that's what we need. I think it's a 10 inch, right? This, I think this is a 10 inch, um, and the thing with the, this is a sliding one. I'll undo this so you can see this. So basically, you can tighten it, and it will go straight down, or you can loosen it, and it's gonna get you, I can't remember what the cross cut is. I think this is actually a seven and a quarter, but it will okay. get you a 10 inch. Oh, okay, I see, um, yeah. So if you um, will loosen the thing in the back, when you go down, it will also slide. So you get a little bit extra on that. Um, and so I think, don't quote me on this, but when I was looking at measurements, you can get a larger cut on a seven and a quarter sliding than you can on a 10 inch stationary. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, because a 10 inch stationary, I think is like, it's like a seven or eight inch cut yeah. because it's the whole width of the yeah. blade in half yeah. or something. That makes sense. Um, anyway, so I've got this set to 43 degrees. Um, and I have gone ahead and measured, um, you are gonna cut uh, your saw, your guide is gonna be two and a quarter inches in from the end. So I went ahead and marked that on both sides and then before I ever start, I just pull my blade down to see if it's gonna line up with that and then, and then go from there. Um, this also has, I really, really wish they could see this. Let's see if I can just Which turn part? this. Okay. So it has this um, arm that swivels, and basically, you when you get your piece of wood set, um, this clamps down. Like just like just to keep your hands out of it. That's so great. that it yeah. helps keep it from move yeah. too. That's great. It helps with the kickback. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make all four of those cuts. If you want to just take my volume down, yeah, I'm gonna crank Anna down so. You'll, not over, you'll still hear it from my mic, but not from Anna's. <laughs> not for right now. Well, I was asking Terry what she was doing for her birthday, and she said she got donuts this morning, and she's going to go to her favorite Mexican restaurant tonight. Terry, I love Mexican. Is it like an authentic Mexican, or is it a chain chain Mexican? What let kind, me, let what us kind know. is it? Let us know. Yeah. Okay. And it's a perfectionist. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. Okay, it's well, all well. good. You're down. You're good. She's a professional. Look at her go. I, I'm not a professional. I actually 
<laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> that's something day, that's something you all can help with if you're not already a member of Oak and Lamb. You well, can join. be. Join. join. So I can be a professional Yes. Pastor. Every person who buys it is close, brings Anna one step closer to being here. It sure does. Mexican is my favorite. Terry, I love Mexican food. Love it. I don't think I have a favorite type of food, though. I love all food. I don't think I could pick a favorite because it depends on my mood. Beck is this fondue, yes. Yes. Or I want chocolate pop tarts. Uh, yeah. That you know what? Yeah. That just I encompasses it all. Your chocolate pop tarts lost big time on well, the of course I turned your mock up right then. Listen, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about the pop tart competition because I like fruit pop tarts too, just not as much. Thing is, is um, my favorite pop tart is the brown sugar and cinnamon. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, that wasn't even in the poll. No, it was. But we had crud tons of people. I'm like, well, these are okay, but brown sugar. And I'm like, I don't know. I know they didn't of ask my opinion. Of course. Well, it was like, save not savory, but like chocolatey or fruity is kind of the which that would have to err on the side of chocolatey. The burn sugar cinnamon because it's not fruity. No. It's not fruity. It would have to go in the like sweet chocolatey column. No. So you think it's more no, fruity? No. no, I don't think it's fruity, but it's like its own category. You have to pick one. You have to pick one. I'm going fruit then. No. 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 Fruit, no. I like fruit better than chocolate. Well, I understand. Okay. I understand. Charlie wants a 12 inch miter saw. That's a big one. She wants one? Yeah. <laughs> Sanding blocks? Yeah, we absolutely do. They should be in the bottom right drawer, all the way to the bottom right. Towards the back. Perfect. Um, one thing with pre staining these is. I mean, obviously, you are going to have to go back in and stain these a little bit more on your corners. But um, it will help not have to, like, the vinyl won't, won't stick if it's too wet. So, I mean, you're going to have to do that regardless. It'll be fine. But um, that's, a, that's a, an easy step. I had pre-rounded these corners uh, before I got here because I don't like super sharp corners. So you can just go back and round those out a little bit. It just gives it a little more of a finished look. Now, here's the other thing. You can um, go back and do like a whitewash. You can uh, distress these and make them look like barn wood. If you're not familiar with these, they're becoming increasingly popular. Um, and there's so many things you can do with them because once you've made this, you can make them double-sided. So if you're doing like online craft sales or something, you can market it as a multi, uh, like a Christmas and a Thanksgiving yeah. or spring and winter. Or, or, yeah. um, and they're super customizable that way too. Um, you would maybe want to do a more neutral um, bow. But, or you could even sell two bows. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I'll go and make my second, my second cut. Stacy loves rounded corners too. Yeah. It just doesn't look as harsh. Yeah, I agree. My I have not seen Doug. He well, might be here. Oh, if you guys didn't hear Anna, uh, her dad, Doug, is coming to get his hair cut today. Mm. This is moving. Those are still high to me. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. I'm almost done with this. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it's a dreary day here. Let me know how your weather is. I do love a 
did bring me Jay Prince on the show. See, you and Becca. I do not. Do you not at all? No. I mean, I don't want to be out running errands all day in it or anything like that, mm. but. I don't like rain. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yes, your mama is here. My mama is? She said, I'm here, not as wonderful as Doug, but I'm here. <laughs> no one said that, Jan. Oh, no she one just said called that. you by your first name, Jan. I call her Jan and I call him Dougie. Well, I, yeah. Yeah. We used to call her what was it, Malma or something, or M Marmy, or she used oh, to get mad no. about it, though. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the floor and get it out of the way. Look at this mess I have made. Hey, woodworking's messy, and that's okay. I'm telling you what. I, I think every project I've ever done has been a, a disaster in the cleanup area, though. Okay. Look at all that dust. We have a little vacuum. Becca bought a little dust buster. I wonder if that glitter vac thing would work. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how fine it has to be. Okay, so um, when did Becca release those cut files that we're using today? The cut files you're using today? Yeah, was it last week or something? <sighs> and I, I gotta be honest, I haven't seen this, this uh, project. I have no idea. Oh, well, they're on there. They're on the site. Yeah. Okay, so um, you want to see my thumbnail? Maybe I've glanced at it. I wasn't Rachel. The, I was too busy looking at your adorable cartoon. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I hope this sawdust Are plaster. You sanding I'm trying to get it off. off. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to be okay, guys. Okay, so next we are going to go over. Let me go to the overhead so I can see that patterned vinyl as well. Yes, and the brayer, it's kind of, it's a. Uh, was not like this when I put it down. Whoops. The vinyl is... Have you had it do that, Rachel? No. <laughs> it's just you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. Let's see about this. Please don't anyone. It's going to be okay. Um, I just don't know. It'll, it won't cut good if it's bubbled like that, will it? Okay, I got it. I'm I got so it. So interesting. There was a big bubble in the middle oh, that I couldn't okay. get out, but it okay. wasn't like in I the actual see that vinyl. Over here. Yeah, I see it. yeah, you're you're judging me. Okay, so do we want to go ahead and go over to my computer? Absolutely. We'll yeah. switch over to Design Space. I'll wait till you get settled over there. Okay. Yes, Anna's nails match it. Matches it perfectly. That's pretty. Well, I did those. I've got sawdust in my eye after oh. I said something about safety. Um, after I said something about it's safety. It's because I went to blow um, the stuff off. Oh, okay. Yeah. You did it to yourself. Yeah, I totally did it to myself. Okay, so I'm in design space. And we are going to go and upload. Becca um, made us this hello, hello, hello cut file. So cute. And she made us these tag cut files. And we'll go ahead and add this to our canvas. Okay. And with this, you can use whichever hello you want. I wanted a really bold one. So what I'm gonna do is move these. Okay. Over here. And I'm gonna ungroup all these because I only need one of them. Um, and so I'll go and delete all the rest of these. And then we will do the exact same thing over with our tags. She's got those groups together. And we're just going to use um, the green one because the shape of it is, you could warp these to make whatever shape you wanted on them. Or not warp, but move Anna, them. where is this? I know you said it's like out of stock or something. Where did you get this pattern vinyl that you're using? That pattern, I'll try and find one comparable for them for the links. Um, it actually was from Hobby Lobby. Okay. And I'm almost, pa I think it was Paper Studio, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, and they may have it, but our Hobby Lobby is so picked over that you can't really, you can't really see. Yeah. I mean, it's 
it's pretty bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, select. And surely there is new files you haven't seen. Yes, yet. You got we will go over peek. those. Yes, but, uh, Anna's gonna go over those today. Becca Definitely. just dropped them today. They're so stinking cute. Okay, so I'm going to select both of the um, tag hole and the tag. We're gonna group those together so that we can move them together. And I'm gonna make this tag be uh, 13.75 high uh, by 7.75 wide. Because um, I wanted just a little bit of a border around it when I go, well, I didn't do right. Um, when I go to place it, I wanted a little bit of a border. You could make it smaller if you wanted uh, your wood to stick out a little more. Um, 13, <clears throat> okay, my goodness. I need my glasses. Okay, then um, what I am going to do is go ahead and um, ungroup this, and I'm going to duplicate um, this one tag hole so that I can have an additional one for the, um, the, second, um, the second tag. I also am going to do all of my sizing for the hello for the second tag based off of this one tag. Uh, that way I can just get a size reference. So this hello, I'm going to resize. Um, to 7.75 wide and it's going to be four inches tall and then we'll send this to the front okay and I'm going to go ahead and make it like a pink color so that you can get an idea not that it 100% matters this is adorable I loved all the hello options you had in that one cut file. And again, that is on the site. I'll also link it down below right after the live. And um, there's a lot of little hellos that Becca hand lettered that you can choose from. She, that hand lettering, she is a pro She's at so that. She's so stinking good at it. It I is know. fantastic. And She's I a professional. said that I was going to make that 7.7 .7 wide. I'm going to make it um, 7.5. Just a little bit smaller so that it doesn't overlap those edges. Okay, now I'm also going to go and just create a different little element under it just so it's not so plain. And we're going to go into basic shapes and get a rectangle or a square. We'll make it a rectangle. Um, this is going to be 7.75 wide. And then we'll make it two, um, two inches tall. And then we'll make it pink and send that right over here. I'm also going to duplicate um, and we're going to make it 0.25 high and keep it the same, well, keep it the same width of 7.5. Seven five. I don't know why it's changing. It's where did these stars oh, look. come from? Look, you've got. Some. I am not even touching oh, this computer. God. You've got some stars. We, these stars are not part of the project. I have no idea where those came from, guys. That's <laughs> you free. You must have clicked that something is real free. special on your My keyboard. My computer is like completely. There we go. Okay, so we'll go back to seven point seven five. Okay, that is correct. Now we're going to duplicate this three more times. And then I'm going to move this hello. Okay, so we're going to end up grouping all of these together. And what I'm going to do is um, kind of get a parameter for that top and bottom, and then we'll go back in and fill these. And these will all end up being grouped together. Okay, so it's like a little detail under there. That's cute. Yes, and this is going to be layered clearly. Cute. Okay, so we will group that together. 
and then you're going to center and then select your big one too. So Jenny, the pink pieces that, Be uh, that Becca, that Anna is making is just kind of like little, kind of like a little ribbony pattern underneath the hello. Yes. Just to add a little bit of, a little bit of pizzazz. If we have a finished one, I don't know if we do, Anna can show it on the overhead I camera. I can grab it. Do you want if, me to grab it? If that would, where's it at? Um, on your desk? Oh, it's actually right here. Okay. But I, I didn't add but one of them on there, so they okay. won't be able to see. Yeah. Um, you can finish in design space. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll show it, because I know some people are very visual. Okay. It might help to see the way it's going to look, but it's a, adds a little bit of personality under there. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to align that vertically, and then I'm going to go back here, and... Weld those. Okay, and then we're going to go and add these right in the middle. And all this needs to be um, aligned from left to right also, so like centered. Anna, can you layer on top of pattern vinyl? Yes, you absolutely can. I am going to tell you if you do that, like um, in the specific vinyl that I have, I would probably only use white. Would you say that, Rachel? Um, just because if you end up using something that's too close to it, it yeah. kind of just it falls into the falls background. Falls in. Yeah, I would um, use a pretty contrasting color, but one that looks good still. Like you don't want to go with like red or something with this. Right. I, I mean, Again, exactly. Kind of like, there's a bit of a dance you have to do when you're working with pattern vinyl because it can be tricky. But if you use it properly, it's a beautiful product. And, well, it, it's very like you can see some really good dupes and I mean, like not dupes, but like really good stuff and some really bad stuff. True. So yeah, it just depends um, on how you use it. Okay. You'll see pattern vinyl a lot in. Um, like mystery boxes and things you purchase just because I don't because no one knows what to do yeah, with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now all this is welded together of, of the pink. Okay, and you're gonna kind of get an idea here. I'll show you. I'll move that forward. I don't know why it's not moving forward. Why is it not moving forward? There we go. Some white pattern vinyl is see-through. Do you have that issue? Lisa, are you talking about pattern vinyl or regular vinyl? Um, if you mean see-through, I think you mean if you put like white vinyl on a very busy pattern, you can kind of see the pattern from underneath. Oh. Uh, I've had that happen before. I have. Um, it's, it's sad. <laughs> it's sad, honestly, because it almost makes you want to put another layer of white but then the you know good luck center in that perfectly so <laughs> that would be a disaster do we want to show them this yeah or? let's go over there and, and show them okay so basically it's pull it down a bit um i'm sorry rachel your tape, your tape rachel Anna. gave me tape parameters <laughs> and i said i'm surprised you didn't put a note on there that says stay here and she said well i thought the tape was big enough yeah and i'm like well it's kind of blends in with the table though so <laughs> Um, so you kind of get an idea with this. I have changed the colors a little bit because um, this didn't pop quite as much. And it really doesn't pop a lot because I was lazy and didn't actually want to stain this last yeah, night. But it was a test. Let's see. I should have test. stained it. But also, um, I got HTV for this bottom pink because I thought I wanted the lighter. And um, it does not do well on <laughs> unsanded wood. Okay. I'm gonna tell y'all. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it wanted to stick better in some spots. And so ultimately I just went with traditional vinyl. But you Are can you kinda... putting traditional vinyl on that to be... Like yes. The, the, what's light pink, is that gonna be hot pink? That yes, you're using? so that's gonna be hot pink and all of it is traditional vinyl. I'm yeah. not using any HTV yeah. today. And Lisa, you might actually be able to see it, like see through. Because even there, I you see can. through it a little bit. So you I can. bet on that hot pink, you'll be able to see through it a little bit. So I guess it's a common problem. Oh, Lisa, that's making me nervous. I'm going to have to be one of those that uh, Listen, that double layers it. Double, oh, you know what? We'll Not today, though. Bridge. I'll do that yeah. on a different day. Later. Later. <laughs> like Becca, she's like, that looks bad. I'll fix it after the live. Yeah, but does she ever actually fix it? Yeah. Okay. It was, she couldn't sleep at night if she didn't do that. <laughs> she wouldn't be able to. I'm going to go ahead and plug 
the yeah. I'll switch it back maker. over to design space for you. Okay. So now you can see what those little pink pieces she was kind of manipulating are going to be. It's, it's really cute. Yes. Um, so our Cricut is turned on. We're going to go and say make it. Don't forget you have it set to a maker. I do. I sure do. Let me see. I have to go back and do that, right? Mm -hmm. Cancel. And this is a maker. Is this what is this? Maker three. Maker three. Okay, now we'll. There make we it. go. And we are gonna do on mat. You never ever cut off from that <laughs> ever. They thought it was a good feature though. Yeah, not for us. <laughs> and I went ahead and loaded my um, mats so that you all did not have to be bored with that. And I have no. Why is there water on this vinyl? What? <laughs> Well, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Okay. So we will go, go ahead. Go ahead and choose your material setting while okay. you're over on the third camera. On that. We always connect USB. If you guys don't know, if you have trouble with Bluetooth, we always connect via USB for sure. Okay. And default pressure. All that looks good. We are ready to load our mat. First mat, first of three? First yes, of three there mats. are three. That is correct. All cut on the same setting. They're all the same type of product. Um, it had been a hot minute since I had done any HTV last night. And, uh, of course, put it on the mat completely wrong, even though it tells you. Did you mirror it? I did not mirror it. Okay. I well. just put <laughs> the plastic side up. And the whole time it was cutting, I was like, man, that sounds crunchy. But you didn't mirror it either? I didn't have to because it was um it was just the lines. Oh, okay. No, okay. so the hello wasn't wasn't no. I got gotcha. you. No, it wasn't quite that bad. I got gotcha. you. Um. Anyway, so then I was like, Anna, you're an idiot. But Anna, you're an idiot. <laughs> the good thing is, is it didn't cut all the way through that plastic, so you just flip it and go. Wow. It was fine. Recovery. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe that's why it didn't adhere to that so well. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And Lisa, our favorite vinyl is um, Starcraft. I think Becca has a mitt, or Becca, I keep calling you Becca. That's okay. No, I'm not used to you here. Uh, the Paper Studio brand, I think, is the pattern that she said. And then she's, the hot pink that she's using is Oracal. Uh, and again, we'll link all that for you. It cracks me up how y'all say that. Oracal? Mm hmm. Don't you say Which Oracle? Which I, I guess is the correct Oracle? pronunciation, but I'm a hillbilly hick over here and I always call it Oracle or something. Oracle. Well, Which Be you're just as country as I, I am. am. If not more. Becca has trouble saying Caesar easy weed. She says Sizer. She does say Sizer. Si it, is it Caesar? It's Caesar. How do you spell that? S I S E R, Caesar. That's that's phonetically incorrect. We're gonna oh, we're gonna have to okay. let them know. Okay. <laughs> we'll tell them. We'll tell them they're wrong. I'm sorry. You've been saying your company's name wrong. <laughs> and we'll load our second mat. We're going to have to take an air gun to all this. Okay. I'm not doing it again and getting any more sawdust in my eye from that thing. That's how I got uh -huh. sawdust in my eye the first time was blowing this thing off. See, you're going to say that and then we're going to be flooded with comments. That's why you should have worn goggles. So. I know, I know. It's like, do you, you should. Everyone, you should wear goggles. Please. Although... <laughs> I'm going to say that I would never in my wildest dreams imagine that I've got sawdust in my eye from my cricket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. Jen said, I love the fail stories. We've all been there. Talking about your HTV flip. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Jen. Uh, you just craft with me on the daily and you're going to have <laughs> lots of them. You can learn lots from my failures. Stop. When you're rusty, you're rusty. There's nothing to do but. I mean, rusty in. is an understatement for sure. <laughs> it's better like dumpster. mortified. Chrissy, she said, Oh man, I'm so late. I just had a mildly stressful job interview, but I'm happy I made it. Chrissy, <gasps> we hope it went amazing. I'm sure you did phenomenal. Can't wait to hear about it. Only what you're comfortable telling us, of course. Rachel, how do you feel about job interviews? <clears throat> I've never I've never had one. <laughs> We didn't, what? <laughs> oh gosh. I feel I've like you should, job interview. you should have to have one in your lifetime. It's, your your no. palms would go to a whole new level of sweaty no. on that. 
I'm no. telling you, it is terrible. I didn't even interview for my, my very first job at Food City. They were building a brand new one, and they wanted any warm body. <laughs> and I showed up, and they were like, you're in. Let's go to orientation. I've never been to – didn't have one for Tanner at Makers and Learn. I, I was a family friend, and he was just, like, tiny. We, Makers and Learn wasn't even a thing then. And I just come in, and I'm like, I, I can do this, this, and this. I don't really know what Pinterest is. And I don't have a laptop, but, you know, I can clean real well. And he's like, you're hired. I mean, never had a job interview. Never. I, I feel like I would be – an absolute wreck if I had a job interview. My very first job was at Goodies. Yes. <laughs> yes, where I met one With of my very, Becca. very yes. Well, I worked there first. Oh, okay. And it's always um, competition. Yeah. well, she was at the movie theater. But anyway, so actually, I've gotten Becca a couple. Well, she, anyway, anyway, so I interviewed there and Cato and Rack Room Shoes all in the same day, and I got all three jobs. Wow. I, well, coincidentally, you must be an exceptional interview. Well, okay, so that's what I was going to say. I, I guess I interview very well. I've never had an interview that I didn't get the job. I guess I can rein the attitude in just for an just for an interview, and then it Listen, all then well, it all comes out. She can hold it together for the interview. Yeah, I can fake it for long enough. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically, what it boils down to. Okay, so now I guess if you want to go to the overhead, Absolutely. we're going to place. As long as you can stay in your tape. I'm going to try really hard. Mm. I'm surprised you don't have some kind of taser on me. Like put Granger's <laughs> shock collar and every time I go out of it, you move it. Um, I can unplug this now, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. The cord's getting in my way. Okay. Okay, so I am going to, I, did you hear that? I, 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 uh, I am going to go ahead and put this one on first just because it's super, super fast. Um, I am not going to be using transfer tape with this. So if you want to do transfer tape, you do you, but it's an awfully large piece um, to waste when I don't feel like it's, it's kind of like just one big giant sticker. Yeah. And you can, there's a little bit of leeway on this too, yeah. so. I mean, <clears throat> when I was doing my last screen printing video, I didn't use transfer tape. I just peeled it right off. If it's a, a larger thing like this, don't waste it. Right. You know, if you're confident doing it, do it. For sure. As Watch it end up being like Becca's bucket. It'll be half, <laughs> be crooked. No. Becca's bucket was not crooked. It was like an eighth of an inch off. I do not even think you can classify it as um, Oh, yes. Dad, when he was cutting this for me, he was like, it's a 64th of an inch off. And I was Sweet like, mercy. it's going to be okay, Daddy. It's going to be okay. Pull him down a bit too, Anna. Okay. Perfect. Now we can see the whole thing. Perfect. I say him. You know I have to gender everything. Even though it's going to be pink and floral. It's 2022. Well, you know, that is true. I, it's a girl, but if I was thinking, but... It's okay. Whatever. I mean. A big piece may not need transfer tape. Jenny, exactly. Yeah, if it's a big solid piece with not a lot of detail. Honestly, if I'm not weeding text or something with pieces that have to stay in a certain spot, I'll just pull it right up too. This is a little high. Are you going to peel it off? Yeah, I am. Okay. It's not like it's not like oh, okay. attached, okay. attached. Well, that's a good thing to note then. She's not giving it all she's got. She's just barely laying it on there. So yeah. this, she does have to reapply. She can do that. Now, that, Anna, the question of the hour that no one's asked yet, but I know they will, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Yes. Would you seal this before putting it outside? I 100% would, and I'm going to tell you why. I plan on 100% using this on my front porch because I'm kind of sprucing it up for spring. Adorable. And um, it is kind of full sun there. So mm. and it is covered, but I am going to seal it and then I'm going to spray hairspray on it um, so that it helps it not fade. I don't know. And, and I'm just going to say that as a hairstylist, be picky about what hairspray you use, because if it That's will cause hilarious. stuff not to fade, what's that sealing in your hair? Yeah, ooh, you ooh, know, ooh, she's got a point. If you've got dry, brittle hair, 
check your hairspray check, first. Check, check that alcohol hairspray. content. My mm. mom loves Kenra. How do you feel about Kenra? Kenra 25 is one of my least favorite hairsprays on oh, the market. Oh, no. Yes. I'll have to tell her that she's frying her hair. With that being said, though, it is probably one of the most sold. Really? But it's like concrete. In the South, oh. in the South, you like your it's, hair to stay. It's true. But I don't use hairspray, want, really. If she goes out in the wind, she doesn't want it to budge. <laughs> <laughs> don't want it. Don't want it to. What okay. sealer would you use, Anna? Um, I mean, maybe really, Midwax Polycrylic. I'd probably just use, um, or even the spray sealer. Yes, we don't have one, do we? I think it's in the back there with the black cap. I was gonna. Sh yes, I, even something like this, um, because I'm lazy. Yeah. I, but you could brush it on. It, it would be fun, too. I'm definitely going to do that, though, especially with moisture and this being, because um, you can kind of see yeah. it doesn't really want to stick to this. Okay. Um, but yeah, hairspray works. There's a There was a hack going around years ago about uh, spraying hairspray on your carved pumpkins that it would help the sun not to rot it. Did that work? Did you try know. it? I don't know. Um... They are fascinated, though, with the fact that you can use hairspray to keep this from You can out. also do that on your uh, floral arrangements and that kind of stuff um, on tombstones, on front doors, mm -hmm. if like on fake flowers. Okay. Silk flowers. Yeah. Then I'm going to take, I, remember we cut two of these off and just place it right over top of that hole. This angle is a little interesting. That's okay. You got to get over it. You have to kind of. It's okay. I wish I was a little taller. I think this was set up for you, Rachel. Oh, you probably. Yeah. 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 I'm the only one that matters here, so <laughs> I don't really care if you all are struggling. Okay, thanks. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next we are going to go to our um, lines. Our little pink lines. We're gonna cut the excess of this off so I don't have to deal with it. Use them scissors, Anna. Get them. <laughs> Get them. <laughs> Do you all not use these? Oh no, we love those Kimholt scissors. Oh. It fascinates me. Not I fascinates. I do love these. I really love when all when you guys get to see all three of us craft because we have such different teaching styles and techniques. It's like you're learning something new every live, no matter if you've, if you've actually seen the, you know, the technique done a lot, depending on who's doing it, you're going to learn things that are completely different than what you would learn from Becca and I. So I really appreciate Anna's. The wrong way. I really appreciate, I really appreciate the um, <clears throat> beginner, beginner like <laughs> confidence that she's displaying. Um, oh. And the technique that needs some work. Uh, I really. Which technique that. are we talking <laughs> I'm about? Kidding. Which technique? I'm kidding. Uh, it's great. It's great, Anna. I mean, would you like to come up and weed my stuff? Mm. Oh, now they're a little learning curve, guys. Don't ever, under any circumstances, buy the strong grip transfer tape. <laughs> ever. She made the same mistake ever. as her twin sister. Ever. Yeah. Um, so basically, I knew what was going to happen. And. Um, I said, okay, that's the strong grip. I need to definitely put it on the ground, my shirt, something before. And um, once again, I didn't because I got caught up in the moment. And, uh, in the and zone. it was awful. It, yeah. was, it was a disaster. It was, yeah. a, it was a not a fine moment. So last night there were lots of interesting noises coming from my craft room. <laughs> Mark was like, I'm going to stay far, yeah. far away. <laughs> Like, I'll let you figure that one out. Now, on this, you can kind of do it in the middle. You can do it down low, whatever preference on that. Um, I am going to go a little bit further down just uh, because there will be a bow up at the top. So just kind of line that up best you can. Debbie's here. Hi, Debbie. Hello, she Debbie. Says, I just downloaded all the new cut files. Oh, how great they are. So me right now. Yes. yes stay tuned because in just a minute, Anna is going to share with you the new cut files that we've got. Um, they are on the site. So if you are already a member, feel free to go over there and check them out. They're so stinking cute. This so is not sticking to this at all. Really? The vinyl is not? The vinyl is not. Uh-oh. At all. Really? Uh-uh. 
Um, so we stained these last night and stuck them next to a. Oh, it is so rainy outside. Though. I think I maybe bet the moisture. So basically, I'm just gonna keep this transfer tape on there, and y'all can get the idea. I am losing my mind. It's gonna be. Look at that. Look how good that looks. <laughs> oh my God. Dear Jesus. It won't stay. Why don't we just take it off? You I don't think the white will stay. Will stick. No. Where's there some the tape? Do you think it's the moisture outside? I definitely think it is because this has had tons of time to dry. Do we mm. have tape tape? Where's uh, my scotch we tape? We have some scotch tape in the top drawer. Listen, this is crafting at its finest, guys. It's She's just, like, <laughs> we're just going to leave the transfer tape Well, on. you'll get an idea that way, and I, I may have to uh, tweak it. Yeah. I, I don't know you why it wouldn't to stay. You use HTV, maybe? I don't know. But it did How fine How did your first one go? Well, it, it wasn't, wasn't stained. stained. But it's had plenty of time to dry. And you did it last night when it wasn't raining. Correct. It's probably the weather, mostly. Uh, also, well, we're, it, it's kind of garage. Oh, the tape won't are. even stick. stick. <laughs> oh, no. Rachel! What are we Guys, what? tell it it's okay or she'll never be back. I'm never. She'll, she'll I'm never come back. Slightly mortified. Tell her that it's okay, that it's the moisture that Anna cannot control the weather. But I mean, Just how many times have say. we done this? Why would it do this? I got him. You know, you know. Didn't this happen with Santa's cookie tray, Rachel? Jan, it 100% did. I don't know if it was a rainy day or if it was the wood that we bought. But yeah, the vinyl, regular piece of vinyl would not stick to the wood. Thanks, Mom. Either. Thanks for always being my supporter. No, listen, I, I just had a fail on it. Too. Look how good that looks. <laughs> Love the color. <laughs> Love the color. Love it. So I wonder if that means this isn't going to stick on there too. Oh, well, no guys. Not. Pull it down a couple inches so they can see. <laughs> Rachel, you just need a sign that holds up that says pull it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can make that happen. Well, look, that one's not sticking fantastic. It's going to be okay. Is it sticking then down a little bit? Ish. Ish? It's going to be okay. Okay. Um, then, that, I don't know what that is. Let's what? get our words. <laughs> that was a full mumble sentence. I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> Becca would know that, that twin lingo. She gets it. Okay. Yeah. Cat thinks Becca booby trapped this project. Cat, <gasps> maybe she did. Do you think she like put baby oil or something Ooh. over top of it? Becca, I'm ashamed. Hey guys, I've never um, weeded fancy white vinyl, and it has blue under there, so you can see where you've weeded. She apparently doesn't like weeding on the mat either. No, I don't at all. I, you? Why? I don't know. I just like to take it off. Okay, you can. <laughs> Is it a rule that, that no. do you all all weed on the mat? That's all we do. Why? Because it's so much easier. Look how fast this is coming off. I would have already been done. Whatever, you're <laughs> a liar. You also weeded the insides of the letters first. Guys, I'm so interested in how Anna is what? weeding. How do you weed it? I always weed the extra off the edges first. What does Becca do? Same thing I do. No, she doesn't. Yeah. Is there like something in a crafting manual? Ask well, them, here's the do thing. they weed the insides or the outsides first? They weed the outsides first. No, it's on that the mat just and then the insides. Because you're saying that. No, I swear. Come come at Rachel, us. Rachel. Come at us in the comments. Can't remember your are you a Louise? I can't remember. <laughs> Elaine. Louise. Louise. That's my mamaw's middle name. See, it was close then. Beatrice. Beatrice. My papa only Beatrice. says Beatrice. Pe my papa Ronnie cannot say his own wife, wife's name correctly. Is it just because he's being funny? No, he cannot say it properly. He calls her Beatrice, but her name is Beatrice, which is much better than Beatrice. Uh, <laughs> um, bless his heart. Bless his heart. But most of us, I would say, we'd on the mat number one, we'd be... <laughs> Excess around the edges, number two, and then the center. Uh, what are they saying? What are the people saying? It's, it's got a bit of a 30-second delay, so we'll see when the comments start rolling in. I'll let you know. You're killing me. Then, because you have relatively st straight lines with this fantastic pink down there, <laughs> you can kind of just line it up. 
God love her. But I will say, listen, not dogging anything because what do we say, guys? No matter how you run the race, as long as you get to the finish line, it does not matter. So it doesn't matter how you weed or anything like that. If Anna has success, then that's fantastic. That's all we're here. Well, and we're talk here about success. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> that is a 10 out of 10 right there. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Love it. If that will just stick down. Okay, so now you're starting to get the little idea here. Next thing we're going to do is get our trusty board that Becca screwed up. And yep. um, thank you, Becca. Now we have a drilling board. <laughs> uh, and this is so old that I can't even see what it's a big it's a big it's the biggest bit I had in my thing guys that doesn't really matter Three quarters of an inch maybe well, maybe I mean it's half of my finger okay <laughs> half of Anna's finger I'll go ahead and put that in the comments I'd say that it's probably it. it's probably like a five eight Yes, right. um, and you're just gonna go straight down. And so this is where your ribbon's gonna go through, or jute, or whatever you decide to do. So, she's a thick one. Okay, and then just repeat that. Now, I have heard tell that Becca, which I actually didn't know this, does not like jute. But Rachel, you like jute, I don't love you? Jute. I love twine. I don't, why doesn't she like it? Maybe because it's a boring color. It's kind of overused. Anything super popular, Becca's like, I don't love that. Or if it's a bit of a boring color, boring texture, Becca is very much into the big bold beauty colors um which is amazing and me and Anna have very similar sense of style we do that's Taste. it though apparently we don't do anything else the same we definitely don't craft the same definitely not <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't no. I do we'll think... have to give her a crash course before she actually starts you know I'm gonna do everything my <laughs> own way you better, Anna. Listen, and I think that Rachel all and I different crafters here. are going to do the exact same projects, the two of us, and then we'll post them online and you can tell which one was weeded which way. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, ju I just said, if you get to the finish line, it doesn't matter how you got there. It's going to look the same at the end no matter what. Well. It doesn't matter how you it weed. Will. I just had to mention how interesting it was that you didn't weed, in my mind, normally. <laughs> But to uh, each their own. Well, that is true. To each their own. That is true. So with this, this is total preference. Like, do you want to hang it with something frou-frou or something more rustic? I decided to kind of blend the two because they are natural wood, so why not? Um, I'm taking three pieces and poking them through the back. Oh, three. Yes, because I wanted a good size knot. And then I'm just going to... Hi, a little knot. I think I had to do it a couple times because the hole is so big. Shirley, do you seriously think so? I think that Becca and Anna are extremely different. She says Becca and Anna have the same laugh. I, do, I don't, I completely disagree. What do you think I sound like a hyena or something? No, I just think you sound very different. Now me and my sister, if you all saw us together, we have almost the same voice. It's really creepy. We could answer each other's phone calls and no one would ever know. Really? Yes. Oh, we sound so similar. But I don't think your laughs are... Let us know. What do you guys think? I love your outside perspectives on things. I, do you think it's just because, like, you're with us every single day? Well, not with me every single day, but with Becca. I don't know. I don't know. Is, is Becca even been on here? Uh. She's been texting me, but she's oh. she's busy. She's a busy bee. What has she been oh, saying? No, she's not been watching. Dear Lord, what no. is Anna doing she to our company? Me, she was sitting. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna buy you out. We just can't. We can't have you. You can't anymore. buy out free. We're, you can, <laughs> you're gonna, you know. You can put a price on free. You can. She has threatened to, to make my uh, key card not work to come in here. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. 
Oh, that's good. Thank you. Shirley said, they are both hearty. You both have hearty laughs. Well, we're not going to laugh at it if we don't actually mean it, though, you True. know, so. Yeah. There, yeah, there's no fake laughter going on here. Okay, so this is what your door hanger will actually hang from. Now, here's the thing. Some of them that I was seeing online um, are fixed, and some of them are not. Like, you can drill a hole through the back of these so that they stay wonky How you want them. or okay, like this, I, yeah. I will likely do that because when you go to hang, they overlap unless you, unless you like that look, but I can imagine. Yeah, hold them up, Anna. On that, the, yeah. That oh. they would be look how cute. going like this. So I would take either, you could hot glue, wood glue, or run a, um, a nail through the back of it just to position them however you want. And then you can add a bow on the top of it, yeah. um, which we don't really have time for a bow, do we? If you would like to make a bow, Anna, this is totally, it doesn't, it doesn't this really is your matter. Day, your show. No, it's totally fine. Do they have any questions so do far? Do you all want to see a bow? We'll ask you. We're here for you. It's not like a like a super fancy bow or anything. Let us know. Let me and then go back Anna to will my share YouTube. some cut files as well. Yes, let me go ahead and find that. Yes, we want a quick design space. Kat Let's said she quoted you and said you can't buy out free. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's one-liners are really good. I do appreciate Apparently, it. Apparently, so my brother-in-law told me this weekend that I need to um, start a career in voice dog overs. Like, oh, because Granger yeah, has a voice. Well, and evidently, um, like I did one for Rawlings. She has a stutter, love her little heart. She's a nervous stutter, kind of like Piglet. Oh, and, okay, um, that's precious. So I, I do, but you know, the funny thing is, the only reason that I'm funny is because I feel like when a dog says it, it they can get away with saying stuff that I wouldn't oh, necessarily get away yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really what I would say if I didn't get in trouble for okay. it. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. They have to see your bow, by the way. Oh, okay. We, if you dangle a bow in front of these ladies and gentlemen, they're going to say bow every time. Really? Yes, they love bows. Which I'm sure you're going to crucify me because I don't do my bows the same as Becca. I, I have no preference on bows. Are you a bow maker, Rachel? Uh, no. Um, I've made a couple embarrassingly horrible bows. Oh. And then decided I am better at other things. <laughs> so I choose to do other things. Now, what are you, what are you doing? You're not okay. explaining the process. I, I, I am so sorry. I was measuring. So basically... Oh. I am just accordion folding this back and forth. Uh, and if you do not have... Um, How thick is this? Two inch ribbon? This is, is a, it wired? a uh, wired two and a half inch mm. jumbo roll of burlap ribbon. Love it. You know, at the old Hobby Lobby. Love it. On sale for about $4.99. 30 feet of this stuff, guys. Um, so if you do not have floral ribbon or floral wire sorry wire sorry um you can just take a little bit out of the edges of it that's what i did was steal some from that um and i've got it back here no we don't have any of this but could you also use pipe cleaner oh you totally cleaner, kind could of ugly? i mean for the base of it you could um and then like this this specific the back part yes you could because okay. it's going to be hidden um, but also I always like to do ribbon, um, or not ribbon, sorry, wire, because it gives you something to attach your bow to whatever you're attaching it Love to. It. So yeah. you can just turn right back around and do that. Um, so I've, I've literally just made two ears, two sets of ears like that. And then I'm going to go back with my pretty polka dot. And I'm probably just going to do one on that because I don't want it to be, like, overly gaudy. Okay. In your face. Yes, this is a good tip. Yes. you've also, you've got the pattern vinyl going yes. on. You've got some uh, polka dots going on. And I, um, well, you know what? Let's be overly gaudy. It's going to be okay. If you're from a road, you're going to really want to see this guy. Yeah. Oh, yes. 
And Terry, the birthday girl, says, I don't talk down any crafter. I love the learning experience. Absolutely, Terry. Thank you, I Terry. I have to give Anna a hard time because it's my civic duty to do so. Well. But Anna's incredibly talented. She does so many things. Fantastic. I'm rusty. I'm I just love, rusty. I love learning from all different crafters. I learn things every single day from watching Becca and from uh, seeing Anna teach and um, and she yeah, she I don't, learns I, what if not I'm to do. You down, it's because I love you. So if you get some if you get some crap for me, know that you you are in my heart because <laughs> yeah, I've got to put you down. Okay, so we're gonna set this on top, and what I am gonna do is just cut a little extra of this, and and see that's where um, with a a two part bow, Rachel, you could get away with the pipe cleaner on the back because oh uh, yeah, but not on the. Okay. Right, oh. so but you can just attach all the way around, Love it. and it would cover the whole thing up. Look how cute! That's adorable. And then fluff, fluff, fluff. I also wonder if the um, hairspray trick wouldn't work for fading bows as well. I see. I don't even think about bows fading, but that's a good point. And I always love to go back. It it makes a difference, guys. And oh, I agree. either just. Just freshen those ends up just a little bit. Look how cute. That's such a cute bow. We've got, so yesterday I came home from the camping trip and uh, took my Christmas wreath off the front door. Don't judge, please. <laughs> and uh, when, when I went to take it down, I, I am a softy for animals. I have a hard time eating animals for that very reason. And um, so when I came, there was a mama bird. I've lived in my house for nine years and I, I don't know if it's the same one, but there's been one that's come every single year and it had built in my Christmas wreath. And, and I cried cause I said, look how much work she put yeah. into that and I'm taking it down. Listen, but look, guys, the big, good news is there was no eggs in the nest. That's she true. She had not laid any eggs in the nest. Otherwise yet. I would have had a Christmas wreath up until yes. the end yes. of spring because that's that's how I roll. Yes. I, I don't like flushing things down no, the toilet no, cause then bad. they suffer and it's bad. you know. I'm okay. the same way. So basically you can attach your bow to one of them like this, or you can go from up at the top. Oh, okay, I see. Um, I'll go this way. Are you overhead? I am overhead. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go this way. That way, it's in my parameter. Are you Are you proud of me? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so hang it from the top, or or like that, and that is finished with my lovely transfer tape. Can you see the transfer tape in there? Uh, I've got to be honest, barely. Oh, good, good. Like Maybe from the road you won't like be able to. First camera, you really can't. You really can't see it. That see, much. it's okay. But they get the idea overall. Yes. You did an exception. I would have like ripped it off and been like, "Now what do we do?" And you're like, "Let's just tape her down and keep going." Yes. Very, very but good. as you can see with the pattern vinyl, you get a lot of texture and color with very little effort over here of having to paint things on. I did see some where they had painted like cheetah print. That's super cute on there. Um, that is a lot of work. Um, I agree. But you could paint completely on these and not use vinyl. Yeah. But it's way easier and faster that way. Um, do you want to go over to the website and show yeah. them our new releases? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'll wait till you get settled over there. Okay. Take your time. We are going we'll to. We'll be staring at your gorgeous wreath. Cut files right now. I said wreath, but you're door hanging. That's okay. Whatever it is. And we'll go to new files. Now I'll flip us over. Okay, and look at these fantastic files. <laughs> um, these come straight from Becca's heart. And it's so funny, Julie, one of our, uh, Donnie's wife, um, had messaged Becca, I guess it was last week, and there was a couple of ones like about not liking people and staying at home and all that kind yes. of stuff. And um, she said, you need to make these a cut file. And Becca said, you mean like this whole launch that I and, already yeah. made? Yeah. So it, she was like, "Oh, I need a shirt, yes. like oversized shirts that say all these." So we've got indoorsy, homebody. I hate pants and being social. All peopled out. That one says, "Listen, I still want to be invited, but I'm not coming." I, I, I specifically love that it's one. It's me. It's me. If I don't get invited to a party or something, I'm like, "Dang it, I didn't get an invite." And then I'm like, "I totally wouldn't win anyways." Um. <laughs> I hate bras and people. I hate people. <laughs> it's so good. Ooh, people, homebody. I really love this like 1970s hotel vibe that she's same, done with it. Same, it is Anna. so stinking same. cute. I love it. 
homebody before it was mandatory. So cute. Voted most likely to stay home. Yes. Homebody introvert socially. Staying home is the new going out. Okay. Love it. Uh, love but it. yes, we love these. Love. Do you all have a favorite of let these? Let us know. Let us know if you already used them because they've been out for maybe like an an hour or two. Uh, they sneak on the site on Mondays. Uh, let us know which ones you love. I particularly love them all. I don't think I could pick a favorite. This is like um, the collection just for just for the homebodies out there. I'm definitely one of them. Yep, I am. I'll switch back to Anna though. Okay. Let us know if you have any questions yes. about. The craft about Oak and Lamb, we are just just a really fun community if you guys ever want to have some support and gain some confidence in whatever crafty area you're most passionate about. We teach on Cricut, Glowforge, Sublimation, Anna does exceptional woodworking projects. We dabble in things like resin and screen printing and oh, Becca does sewing. I mean, so much. We have so much here to offer at Oak and Lamb. If you're interested, join the flock. We would love for you to become a, a member with us today. Uh, Georgia said, I did not think that the yellow would match. You know what? I, because I'm not Becca, I really oh, didn't oh. at first either. Oh, <laughs> Becca's not even here to defend herself. Well, but it does have good yellow in there. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and and popping it out, popping it it's out. Gonna be, it's going to be fine. Sometimes go out of your, your element. Try things that aren't too terribly hard to correct. <laughs> I, I think that's fantastic advice. Yes. You don't grow when you're comfortable, you know? That is that is so, so, so true. Yeah. I'm down for the brawl when Debbie says. <laughs> Same. Same. Love it, love it. Well, guys, I have had so much fun with you today. So, so, so much fun. And I, I am going to be seeing you all more regularly. I think every other Monday is the goal. Um, I'm also not going to promise that I'm not going to be a train wreck every single time. This is not like first time jitters. This is who I am, guys. So. And it's fantastic. And we love her for it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to bear with me and grin. And, and I'm going to learn because Rachel's obviously going to call me out that I'm weeding Stop. things wrong. I may get better, guys. I may, I may <laughs> get better. Fine. I just think it's interesting that you don't weed like me and Becca, which I guess. But do you all weed because you work together, though? Well, I was going to say I was trained and I didn't train Becca. She was a crafty genius anyways. But cricket wise, she didn't know a whole lot. So I guess she watched in the way I did. I don't know. But it's just interesting when we see someone who doesn't do it the way we do it. But when the project turns out amazing, it's like it just kind of goes to show you can do things a thousand different ways. If you get to the finish line, it doesn't matter how you how you get there. There's so many different types of crafters out there, and we all need to learn something every day, and we do. We're, yes. We're a very good group of, of gals here in front of the camera, so <laughs> we'll definitely be learning something very often with us. Sparkle Dumpster says almost at 5,000 subs. Oh my oh, gosh. Chrissy. I literally wake up every day and I'm like, please, oh, please, oh, please. Yes. If you're oh. one of the hundred and something people watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We are, we are so ready to get to 5,000 subscribers. Please. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, do we have anything else we need to tell them? They're just saying how great it's been to have you here. Thank you. The first live with Anna. Thank you so much. First live with Anna, yes. I feel like I'm going to have to do one next time that has no wood at all involved in it. <gasps> yes. Show us what you're made of, Anna. They just think you're like a, a woodworking gal, and that's it. So You've got so many other talents. Those of you that don't know, my dad um, has worked in, worked in woodworking my whole life, and he um, worked for a company that he designs all of their like legs, corbels, everything they do, and it's all solid solid wood here in the U.S. And um, uh, when I went over to his house yesterday, he has like just all these things that he's designed and they've manufactured and they're just there. I found this turning that, I mean, it was gigantic and it's like gorgeous. And I think because I just love wood so much, I said, hey dad, what's that for? He said, well, it's just a turning. And I picked it up and I walked out and put it in my car. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just so cute, beautiful, though. though. It, it is beautiful. So I may have a craft with that one day, but you can't ever get another one unless I, I think it was like a custom order or something. Oh, well. We won't do that. No. But she was beautiful, though. But that's my love language is wood. But I'm going to, I, I mean, I, I can 100% branch out from there. So yeah. 
And Anna's ideas, when we come together, we're like, what ideas do we have for lives and organics? Anna's ideas are so much different than the ideas Beck and I are, are geared towards making. That she has a totally different taste into oak and lamb. And well, that's great. like that teacup. Like, I yes. wouldn't ever have made it, but no. Rachel rocked that out. And I was like, hey, Rachel. It was Anna's idea. So, like, we all just bounce ideas off each other because that's a little out of my comfort zone. I would have never thought to make it. Really? And Anna's like, why don't you make this? And I'm like, well, I mean, I've done water slide. I've done candles. I'll, I'll just combine them both. Which, if you guys didn't know, that's a great member only that was released last oh, week there are member sorry. onlys no it was it's out it's for you guys you're ready to see it if you are a member in the private facebook group we do release member only content that you can't find anywhere else and it's usually really fun stuff last week i made a candle in a teapot with a water slide decal there was a lot going on but it was a really it's fun so video cute, though yeah. and becca made the little graphic so what cute. a hug in a cup or hug something a cup. So, so cute, cute. Yep. We're just a bunch of crafty gals over here, and we hope you join us on our crafty gal. Are they weddings. going to be upset because I haven't talked about food like you and Becca? We've talked about food. We've I mean, heard about Pop-Tart. I mean, but... we talked about Mexican food. I would say that 50% of your all's content is food-related. That's accurate. <laughs> 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 I was going to say insulting, but how can I But be it's not. You're not insulted. <laughs> it's accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us and uh, for being great supporters and great friends and great encouragers. And uh, I hope to see you all back here on another day for another craft.